Uh, what we have right here is kind of just a demonstration of something that we've developed over the years, which is a means of growing our own transplants here in Oklahoma. Where most plants in Oklahoma come from, they're brought in from out of state, maybe from Texas, maybe Arizona. Well, and, and here at Lane, you're, you're growing your own onions, right? Yes, we've worked over, over several years now developing a system to be able to grow own transplants in hoop houses or, or high tunnels, basically kind of like greenhouses, but not heated. Right. We seed the onions in, in mid to late October. Uh, direct seed them into the beds in the houses. Uh, they grow through the winter time, and then about the end of February, we remove them from the hoop houses and put them into the open field. Oh, and, and what are you finding out in the field as far as your finished product? Uh, again, we've done this for a number of years, and we find that uh, number one, we can get very good quality plants mm -hmm. uh, because they're coming. Because we basically pull them out of the out of the house. Right. Uh, they're fresh plants that they're not dried down like the ones that you purchase. So you put them into the field, and they continue growing. So you don't get that that you don't lose that several weeks uh, period that the time plants need to get reestablished. We have uh, one other variety here that uh, some of the work that we've done on, on testing varieties over the years, mm -hmm. and we found that, uh, again, this yellow granix, that's a short day onion. Right. So it's about, about this time that it's going to be maturing with another two weeks. Within another two weeks, the tops will fall on these. Okay. What we have here is the variety called Cimarron. It's, it's an intermediate day onion. As you see, they're larger plants. They're still growing pretty vigorously. They're gonna, it'll be another three to four weeks before the tops fall on these. So you have a longer period, uh, growth period with these, which mean, which translate into potential for much larger bulbs than with some of these short day varieties. And as far as uh, producers who, are, who, who focus more on the farmer's markets, it, is there an advantage to one onion over another? Or? A lot, of t a lot of our growers, you know, are kind of traditional. They grew up uh, growing some of these crops and they're familiar with, with several varieties, which, you know, are usually good varieties. But I'd also encourage them to look at some other options as far as some of the different types of onions. And again, some of our trials have shown that things like this Cimarron onion is a very uh, durable onion, does well uh, when some of the other onions are attacked by diseases. It, it continues to do well and is not so badly affected. So uh, again, and we, in the Extension Service, we'd be glad to provide people that information on, on some of those additional varieties they might consider. Well, it sounds like a sweet situation here in Lane, and thanks for having us. Oh, thanks for being here. We appreciate your visit. The Lane Research Center is celebrating its 25th anniversary with a public field day, held Saturday, June 12th, right there on the station. Remember, it's 10 miles east of Atoka on Oklahoma Highway 3. For more information, call 580-889-7343.